Hello, and welcome to the Zim JavaScript Canvas Framework. We're going to show you some examples in Zim at zimjs.com, and I am Dr. Abstract. Let's go to the site now, zimjs.com, we'll pop into examples, and scroll down. We've been working through all these examples, and here we're getting to the creativity diagram. This was made for the Creativity Framework at creativityframework.com. And what you do is, well, you've seen, you've seen already a slide on this um, uh, hierarchy definitions diagram. And now you're to drag the words to the right places. So to split, let's see, is that split or is that split? We can also get, um, get hints. It's in there. Ah, there it is. Uh, a hint will show you sort of the boxes. So when we come to the future and want to know, is that is this future, past, future? Yes, I think that's future. Nope, that's future. Um, and so forth. So that's the hint. Well, let's see what else have we got. Joining. So if we split things, this is probably joining there. We've got end nodes somewhere in there, I think. I can't remember. Node zero is there. The past, if that was the up there, if that's the future, this is the past, and where's the present? Those are different aspects. Now, there's now the present content. Oh yes, uh, content is inside this. So inside the node is the content, and the context is what's up above the node. See, can you learn already? And remember, super and sub. Let's see, super and sub. There's super, so sub is down here. Branches go, I can't remember, maybe end nodes are here. I asked, that's right, branches are tucked in there somewhere. Para means next to, so that's over there. Parent is up here. The parents are the parents. Ah, parents are there. And you're more general if you're up here, more specific if you're down there. And the, a neat thing about this is multi-user. So if we're in a workshop with a bunch of people doing this exercise together, after we've looked through the slide, you hit multi and everybody can drag these together. And that's just so much fun. It, it really livens up the workshop and so forth. Analysis is when you split things. You know, when you, Oh, but it's over here. So analysis is over here somewhere. There it is. Aspects are also when you split something. So there's aspects and there's perspex and synthesize is the opposite. Analyze. And did we do we do the whole thing? We almost did it. There's a sibling and children. Children over here. <laughs> Complete. Ta-da. Now there's another one too. Another diagram, a big diagram. And if you uh, go to the next step, then you can you can do that one too. Actually, I think this is the next step right here. And these are organizing these things into the same type of information, same type of data. So you'll have a bunch of things here, a bunch of things here that all represent the same data. For instance, that's one outer thing with two things inside. Here's one outer thing, two things inside. So those two relate. That one goes somewhere else and so forth. And this is also multi-user. All right, isn't that cool? So there's a very useful e-learning example here at zimjs.com um, to recreate a diagram by drag and drop and snapping in with hints like that. Fantastic. That is something that's pretty easy to do, works well in Zim. It's a great use of the canvas. Ciao. I am Dr. Abstract. Have a great day or night.